Hello everyone and welcome to the launch of the Jamaica Community Solar Challenge. My name is James Ellsmore and I'm Director of Solar Head of State, an NGO that works throughout the Caribbean on promoting renewable energy. Um, I have two guests with me who I'll introduce shortly and between us we're going to introduce the Jamaica Community Solar Challenge, um, the principles behind the competition and uh, some ideas to inspire you with your projects. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to share my screen now. And here you can see um, a link to the Jamaica Community Solar Challenge website. It's www.solarheadofstates.org forward slash forward slash solar challenge. Um, if you go to that website, you will then be brought to the homepage um, here. The Jamaica Community Solar Challenge was a project that was brought in with a partnership of Jamaican and international organizations over the last year and is designed to inspire young people living in Jamaica to understand the benefits of solar energy and learn more. Um, here on the website, you'll see um, some more information about the challenge. So we, what we're asking you to do is to design a project to inspire your community to and communicate the benefits of solar energy. So examples of a project could be a solar art project or a video um, that gives more information about the benefits of solar energy. And really what we want you to do, and you can look through the list here, is anything that will help um, tell your friends, your family, your school community more about why solar energy uh, has so many benefits for the future of Jamaica. Winning projects will be those that demonstrate creativity and an ability to educate people about the benefits of renewable energy for Jamaica. If you visit our website, you'll be able to find some more information and some points you might wish to consider, such as how much money can be saved in your community? How can solar create jobs for Jamaica? How will Jamaicans benefit from solar energy? And these are all things you might want to address in any competitions. Um, of course, I just want to mention the prizes for the competition. Uh, first prize is 250 US dollars. Um, and we'll also ask all winners to come to our award ceremony, ceremony in Kingston, where we'll have several guests and VIPs from government, business, and uh, civil society um, to, for you to present your project to. Um, our prize money, um, first $250, second $150, and third $100, is kindly provided by the uh, uh, Caribbean uh, Climate Innovation Center. Um, and we also have another sponsor, Brescia Backpacks, who will provide one of their uh, Jamaican-made backpacks uh, for each of the three winners. Um, we have several different partners um, for this event, and with me on this call today are the Commonwealth Youth Council and the Caribbean Youth Environment Network. And I also mentioned uh, CICC and Brescia, our two sponsors. Um, we have the, develop the Institute of Caribbean Studies, the Development Foresight Institute, World Merit Jamaica, and the Jamaican Scientific Research Council, all of whom have come together to make this project happen. Um, visit the website for uh, information on the submissions here. And also, if you click um, on the Download Guidelines button here, um, you'll be able to read more of the rules and ideas about the project. And now, Sujay Boswell from uh, the Commonwealth Youth Council is going to talk a little bit more about those details. Hi, thank you for having me, James. One second, I'm so the, putting you on the host. There we go, take it away, CJ. Hi, thank you for having me again, James. So the Commonwealth Youth Council is a network of young people, which are the officially recognized voice of young people across the Commonwealth. Uh, we were elected at the Point meeting back in Malta in 2015. Uh, it's a team of nine young people who do work in different areas, such as environment, uh, social area, uh, climate change, and, and so forth. Now, I just want to make mention of the efforts that we want to see put into the competition. These include uh, the designing a solar project by way of art, by way of music, by way of drawing. We want to see a very innovative pitches uh, by the different competitors. Uh, they may create a guide to solar energy projects in their community. Uh, they may write or sing catchy or informative songs that could be displayed, that could be played on radio. 
Uh, they could, if they have in animation talent, they could create short videos to spread awareness through social media. So the very essence of this competition is to create awareness across the different uh, communities and parishes within Jamaica. Some things that they can look at in terms of what we want to see in the body of the presentations include how much money can be saved by the use of solar energy. Uh, how can solar energy solutions create jobs and more employment in Jamaica as we're well aware that unemployment is a significant issue, especially among young people in Jamaica. How can Jamaicans benefit from solar energy? What is Jamaica already doing in terms of so solar energy solutions? So these are some of the things that we'd want young people across Jamaica to look at in creating solutions to the solar energy problems. Now, some other guidelines that must be taken into consideration uh, include there may be teams of three. We would not want any more teams, uh, any teams not to have more than three persons within, within the team. Additionally, the entrance must be 25 years and younger. I'll throw it over now to Janelle. Here from CYN, that's the Caribbean News Environment Network, which is a non profit civil society body that focuses on its resources to empower young people, um, pull together resources to develop programs that can um, advance their socioeconomic backgrounds and also environmental issues. So, before I begin, I just want to mention two remarkable facts that I found about solar energy that I wish to share with you all. First one is that if we add the amount of solar energy that is absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere, land and oceans every year, we end up with almost 4 million EJ, that's exajoules. And to put it in more understandable terms, this is the amount of energy equivalent to 2.7 million earthquakes of the same size as the Tohoku earthquake in Japan. So that's a lot of energy right there that we're getting from one source that, you know, a person should just take advantage of. And two, NASA has been working on a series of solar-powered um, unmanned aircraft in the 1980s. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with Pathfinder, Pathfinder Plus, and Helios, I believe. So this is a part of NASA's efforts to use solar power um, for long durational flights. And it had a record altitude of 96,863 feet in the air. And this is just all from the sun, which is just remarkable to me. So with regards to the solar challenge, um, individuals or their teams can brainstorm ideas. Um, just bring in mind the following question. Why is there a need um, for the utilization of solar energy? So persons can just pull on the themes of energy security, um, environmental benefits, um, being a clean source of energy as opposed to or non-renewables, <laughs> and economic benefits. And I also found an article in the Gleano that stated that 400 jobs were created in content village, content village, my apologies, Carindon, during the construction of a 20 kilowatt megawatt solar energy plant, ranging from engineers all the way down to laborers. So don't just think of it as just the installation of solar panels, etc. cetera. Um, with solar energy, definitely there's a huge economical benefit. Then you can also look at it from the standpoint of sustainable development goals. And goal seven, I believe, speaks to affordable clean energy. So persons can utilize the various resources that are made available to them. I always tell people all the time, Google is your greatest resource, take advantage of it. However, for a more home-based approach, you can always visit the Ministry of Science, Energy and Technology, and also the Scientific Research Council. And as I mentioned before, your local newspapers are a good source um, to get information from because island wide there are several solar projects being carried out now and that have been conducted already. And we'll be adding more resources as we go along so you can always access them um, from the Solar Head of State website. So CYN's role is to just provide guidance for persons or teams who are interested we can be contacted at cyen, that's c-y-e-n dot jamaica at gmail dot com. We're here for advice, guidance, anything you think we can assist you with. Um, we'll be here. Just remember that it's a community-based approach, and we look forward to creative and informative projects at the end of the day. And I just wanted to tell everybody all the best. It'll be a great challenge. 
Thanks so much, uh, Janelle and Sujay, for that information. Uh, we're really excited about the projects that the young people of Jamaica are going to come up with to teach their, um, their peers about the benefits of renewable energy. Um, the links uh, mentioned will be available in the description of this video and a link to the main website where you can find out all this information we've just discussed and more. And there'll also be an email there to contact us with any questions. And myself, Suji and Janelle, um, and our various colleagues will all be available to assist people um, during the project. So thanks for listening and uh, we will be sharing more information in the coming weeks about the project. Uh, good luck with the competition. Bye.